From the air, the scale of the problems at Fukushima become clear. The growing mass of storage tanks now dwarfs the plant itself. More than a million tons of highly radioactive water is now stored here. It is one of these tanks that is now leaking. It's already lost at least 300 tons. The level of radiation in the leaking water is extremely high. 100 millisieverts per hour is equivalent to the limit for accumulated exposure over five years for nuclear workers. So it can be said that we found a radiation level strong enough to give someone a five-year dose of radiation within one hour. For the fishermen of Fukushima, this new leak is another body blow. For two and a half years, they've been banned from fishing in these waters. The only fish they catch these days are for testing. We're about 5,000 meters out from the plant here. This is as close as anybody is allowed to go. Uh, and the fish that they're catching in the water here will be taken to a laboratory and tested for radioactive isotopes like cesium and strontium. And by doing that, the fishermen are mapping the amount of radiation that there is in the ocean here. What they've found is what fishermen like Sato-san suspected all along, that radiation has been leaking into the water and polluting the fish continuously for the last two years. Around here, trust in Tokyo Electric Power is now at zero. It's been two and a half years since the accident, he says, and none of us are satisfied with Tokyo Electric Power's measures. Whatever they say, more than 90% is a lie. None of us feel TEPCO is telling the truth. The beaches along the coast south of Fukushima reopened this month for the first time since the accident. People here thought life might finally be getting back to normal. Now they have another reason to fear going in the water again. You're going to need a bigger boat. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Fukushima. Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are struggling to control the flow of radioactive water. The plant's operator says it will step up monitoring and control of the water leaks from storage tanks. Tokyo Electric Power Company says at least 300 tons of highly radioactive water has leaked from a storage tank into the ground. This is the worst leakage from a storage tank since the nuclear accident in March 2011. The tanks are surrounded by a 30-centimeter high concrete barrier, but the attached pipes were left open to drain away rainwater. Most of the contaminated water that leaked out is believed to have seeped underground. The water inside the tank was treated to reduce radioactive cesium, but TEPCO workers detected 100 millisieverts per hour of radiation near the surface of the leaked water. Only half an hour of exposure to this level of radiation is allowed in the course of a year. TEPCO officials stress there is no alternative to using the tanks. The water inside the tank was treated to reduce radioactive cesium, but TEPCO workers detected 100 millisieverts per hour of radiation near the surface of the leaked water. Only half an hour of exposure to this level of radiation is allowed in the course of a year. The tanks are easy to build, and in reality, more of these tanks must be used, or else there will be no place to store the tainted water. Stupid! You're so stupid! Workers have started to remove the remaining 700 tons of contaminated water from the tank to find out how the leak occurred. They are also examining soil and groundwater to see if the tainted water has flowed into the sea. The plant has seen a series of water leaks from tanks and other problems as it tries to clean up the accident caused by the 2011 earthquake and tsunami. Contaminated groundwater has also been found to be leaking into the sea. Utility officials need to come up with drastic steps to contain the radioactive water building up at the plant. We love being stupid so much that it sometimes hurts. Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are busy mopping up contaminants. They found that highly radioactive water was leaking from at least one storage tank. Workers found about 120 liters of water just outside a low wall around tanks at Reactor 4. 
They detected 100 millisieverts per hour of radiation near the surface of the water. The maximum exposure limit for nuclear plant workers is 50 millisieverts per year. The water was leaking through a pipe used to discharge rainwater from the wall. The workers closed a valve on the pipe and the leak stopped. Officials from the Nuclear Regulation Authority are investigating the leak. They've instructed the people at TEPCO to collect soil samples and quickly determine the cause. People in South Korea are worried about how the water seeping from Daiichi might affect them. Officials in Seoul have asked their Japanese counterparts for detailed information about the leak. The officials want to know how much water is leaking, how contaminated it is, and what impact it's having on the ecosystem. Humans are fucking stupid. They say South Koreans are growing concerned about the safety of seafood imported from Japan. The officials say they've been briefed on the situation three times since late July, but the explanations were insufficient. They say they may send their own experts if necessary. The reason society is fucked up as it is, is because it is governed by stupidity. TEPCO has already admitted that tainted groundwater is seeping into the ocean. Officials from the utility and the government met with fishermen for a second time to update them on the crisis. About 200 fishermen attended the briefing in Iwaki City. TEPCO officials told them that workers have started pumping up contaminated groundwater at the plant. They also said they want to build a wall around the reactor building over the next year. And they discussed the latest leak of 300 tons of wastewater from a storage tank. The fishermen are seeking a guarantee from the utility. We want you to put your promises in writing so we can stop worrying about this once and for all. Stupid! You're so stupid! They're accusing TEPCO of using stopgap measures to handle the crisis and demanding to know when they can go back to work. Things. A group of Fukushima residents say authorities have been too slow to help them. They're planning to sue the government for failing to deliver on a promise to provide aid. A law enacted a year ago guarantees medical or housing support to people in areas with high radiation levels. The areas are not included in evacuation zones. Nineteen current and former residents say they're still waiting for assistance. They're preparing a lawsuit against the government for acting negligently. They say officials have taken too long to draw up guidelines for delivering the aid. Their lawyers say it's disgraceful nothing has been done. They're demanding immediate action.
just taking a shower So I'm feeling pretty clean No hard factual No interpretations No great progressions No breakthrough frustrations This is a song I write When I don't know what to write You may say I'm out of ideas But I know tomorrow comes This is a song I write When I got to write a song And I don't care If it's brilliant or it's done No fine granular No Socrates or Plato No perfect pixels No shark tornado And this is a song I write fucking stupid. We have been throughout our entire history, and we remain so today. If there ever was just one word to describe humanity, that one word would be stupid. What I am saying here is nothing new. Human stupidity has been a great source of entertainment for us humans for as long as humanity has existed. It is a major cash cow for those smart enough to take advantage of it, and just so happens to be the guiding force behind most things that happen in the world. We take pride in our stupidity, and we labor endlessly to invent new ways to capitalize on our stupidity. We humans throw a little dash of stupid into everything we do. We love being stupid so much that it sometimes hurts. We have always been stupid, and we always will be. And you know what the bitch about it is? It is all our fault. We have no one to blame except ourselves. We, being the stupid fuck-ups that we are, have abandoned the ability to think for ourselves, and instead given that responsibility to people who are often more stupid than ourselves, so that we get to work our shitty nine-to-five jobs and live our stupid lives without the stress that comes with the ability to think for ourselves. We want to be numb. We want our brains to be on cruise control 24-7. We want our opinions to be cooked in a spoon for us, and we want our thoughts to be given to us intravenously. The masses are all junkies just waiting for the next opiate fix, and will do anything to get it. Man, you got these bad teeth. Sorry, bro, I'm all out, man. Man, I got these cheeseburgers, man. I don't want any cheeseburgers. Please, man. I, I suck your dick. Ew. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. Thinking for yourself is a pretty hard thing to do if you're already stupid. So it's probably best to let a stupid fucking society full of stupid people do the thinking for you. What other solution could there be? You certainly can't trust your own thoughts. You are stupid, you know. A lot of stupid fucking people like to spend their time bitching and moaning about the problems of the world, and often fail to see the root cause of the problem. We fail to see the elephant that's in the room. We fail to acknowledge the fact that we are all just stupid fuck-ups, and we always will be.